Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to another tutorial where today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get uh, the buy binds slash buy macros in CSGO. This is where you simply press one button and it buys everything you'll need. Uh, it's really handy and competitive, means you can start the round really early. Uh, I'm, I'm simply just going to show you guys what it's like. I'm going to press one button, which is F1. And it's bought me everything. Now, to do this, I'm going to switch over to uh, Google Chrome and show you where to get the code from. So, give me two seconds, guys. Right, here we go, guys. This is where uh, this is where the you can get the code generated for you. And it's super easy to set up. As you can see, it has the secondary weapon, primary weapon, grenades, miscellaneous items, armor, and then the key to press. For the secondary weapon, if you just keep it as a Glock, I'm certain that it just keeps the the p2000 whatever your ct uh i'm not too sure about the usp but i would say it would because it is also a default weapon now for the primary weapon if you go ahead and hit ak-47 you'll see it also comes up when ct if you just press which gun you want i i have the m4a4 as that is probably the best ct weapon available i'm um, pretty sure whenever you have the m4a4 it also just selects the m4a1s if you have that as your default m4 for grenades you can't have double flashbangs that that kind of annoys me but eh, one flashbang is good enough right uh uh he grenade diffuse kit and armor and our vest and helmet of course now for the the key to press i like having it on the function buttons as they're kind of out of the way but they're easy to get to whenever you need to uh you know for for example at the start of games you just press them you know you don't have to move your hand the whole way across the keyboard or anything but yeah that's this is basically what it's going to be whenever you press generate you will see that it actually comes up with a code in green right here if you just want to go ahead and copy that and if you want to, you can paste it into a notepad. It's one hundred percent up to you. But uh, you you won't be doing anything else with it until you're going to paste it into the config file, which you can find by going to your oh local disk program files x eighty six. Uh, if you go ahead, press S, it'll bring you down to everything that's got an S at the start of it. Click Steam, then Steam Apps, Common. Then Counter Strike Global Offensive. If you go into there, then CSGO, the files are the folder CSGO, then the folder CFG. And for me, the website says it's a config file called auto execute or auto XEC. Um, but for me, it seems to work whenever I just put it into the config file. Like literally, it's just called config. Um, open this up with. Uh, with Notepad++, you don't need Notepad++ for this, but I do prefer it. I would also recommend it as it does, I'm going to show you guys what it's like in normal Notepad, and then, you know, you've already seen it in Thingy, right? This is it in normal Notepad, look how messy it is, okay? Now, go ahead, Notepad++, it's amazing. So yeah, right, as you guys can see, I've already got this actually in there, but for the sake of the video, I'm going ahead and paste that in there, or maybe even delete it, just to write delete, and then paste. Okay, now, save that, and that is it done for the uh, the file side of it, you need to go back in the game, and I'm going to show you guys what to do in the game now. Right guys, now that you're back into the game, get the code that you copied and pasted, the, the bind code, and simply paste it into the uh, the console. Press enter, and that is literally it. Um, you can see whenever I press F1 in Counter Terrorist, it doesn't try to buy the AK, it buys the M4 because I'm in Counter Terrorist. Uh, I will also show you this in CT sided right now. Right guys, now that I am in T-sided, we're going to go ahead and press F1. You can see it's bought everything specified in that uh, in that bind code. The bind codes are also uh, pretty easy to set up yourself. If you guys want to like customize them, just go back onto that website and and just do what I done with with this bind code that I showed you how to get today. But uh. But just put your own weapons in it and then follow the, sim the same steps on the video on how to actually get them to work. Other than that guys, th that's everything covered. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you next time.